tragedy. And the look is done. Oh, nighttime mermaid. And why am I becoming a fish on my bed? That's the real question. Hey everybody, today we're going to be testing out the Essence Water Palette. They just came out with a new line of palettes for the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and air. So today, I just skipped water. I said wind and air. Earth, fire, air, and water. <laughs> this palette only cost me $10 and I'm already blown away by the pigmentation of the colors. Look at these. Not only are the shimmers super ultra shimmery, the mattes are stunning. They show up very well. And then we also have a highlighter color that's quite iridescent. It's the one that looks white in the palette, but then has a little bit of a purple shine to it. So here's the palette up close. The colors are really just stunning and I cannot wait to put them on my face. So let's see what kind of look we're going for today. Maybe I can match like the vibe of the mermaid ocean of my bedroom. I think I'm gonna try to go for like a mermaidy vibe. So let's do this blue here. And we're gonna put that on the full thing as my base. Ooh, very nice feel very watery. So this palette does not have a mirror in it, which is not the end of times, but I always prefer when a palette does have a mirror. Wanna make that a bit more even. Okay, I keep looking at my hands, trying to decide which color I want to use next. Now that I have my blue base, I think I'm gonna go in with this. Mm -hmm. It's hard to decide because I wanna use all the colors so desperately but I'm not going to, and I'm also not leaving it like this. So I look a little bit like a Bratz doll, and that's not the dream that I'm having right now. That's more like a nightmare. Ooh, wow, that's so pretty. That's this one right here. The fallout of this palette is quite intense, but the colors are just really quite gorgeous. And they also blend very well. The price is shocking for how good the makeup is. Oh no, I made that too high up. Well, now I have to commit to it and do it on the other side. Oh. Tragedy, all alone in the moonlight. That was a bit much. Um, I'm gonna roll with it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the ease, this even darker blue, the matte in the corner, and I'm just gonna put that one on the outer edges here. Ooh, that's really nice. I'm starting to feel like a sea goddess. Goddess. With my finger, I'm gonna go into the silver because a shimmer always packs a lot more punch with your finger. So put that in the center. Oh, that looks so nice. Do I look like I was birthed by the element of water? Because I feel that way. And then the good news about this white here having a little bit of a purpley blue is that I can use it for my center without it looking very out of place. Ooh, that's so cool. Might add that a bit more around the edges. Oh, I love how that looks. I will be back and I will have turned into a sea goddess. Hi, welcome back. So the lighting has changed because it's gotten darker. I also took off my lipstick because I had a really good idea. Well, I mean, it may end up actually really tragic, but we're gonna try it. So first I'm gonna do something that everyone is going to cringe when they see, but trust me, because I really feel as though this could go good places. And the look is done. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, but I do have 
a really good plan for this. I've decided to make my mouth look like a fish. And so I wanted to do this dark blue lipstick. And so to match that, I'm gonna add more of the navy blue to my look. Whoa, those lips look crazy, you guys. We're going from daytime mermaid to nighttime mermaid. Ooh, who is she, a nighttime mermaid? Ooh, nighttime mermaid. I'm going to grab can I do this without a mirror? I could, but should I? Is the next question. Why don't I keep a tiny mirror in my bedside table? And why am I becoming a fish on my bed? That's the real question. The concept is to have myself have like a fish, like a kind of look without doing it. So we've added the navy to the eyes. I'm now going to add this to my lips. It doesn't, it still doesn't really match the eyes, but close and that's what matters I've decided this is not the look I was going to save this new lipstick for this other look that I have coming up I'm gonna be doing like a grunge look you'll know it when you see it but I'm really excited about it and also this is not it friends essentially this is like purple it's not the navy that I was hoping for it doesn't match the top I knew that but it's just it's not happening. So we're going in with black. Oh my God. I recognize it's just plain black, but this is my favorite lipstick of all time. It's the Maybelline Superstay and it's 285 in Thrill Seeker. Yes. Okay. I'm going to be a thrill seeking fish. Mm. These lipsticks always smell so good like candy. <laughs> I don't know if this is what I was going for, but I'm really happy about it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is the final look. <laughs> I really do love this palette, and I obviously love this lipstick. The palette has wonderful colors. I love all of the formulas. Everything does exactly what it is supposed to. All of the colors show up wonderfully. They blend very nicely and I easily went from daytime mermaid to nighttime mermaid to semi-gothic fish human. Here is a close-up of the final look. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, or if it gave you a laugh in this time of great intensity, then please click like and subscribe down below. You can also hit the bell icon. I can't get over looking at myself when I'm talking like this. You can also hit the bell icon if you'd like to get notifications about future videos that I post. Thank you for sticking with me as I define myself. I will see you next Wednesday. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.